Hey there, and welcome to another PMAT quick tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about the PMAT options module. As with all the videos, feel free to comment down below or to go to www.thebarkerlab.com to find our contact information um, in order to ask any questions that you have, in this case especially about the options module. Um, at our website, as well as in the description down below, you can also find a link to the GitHub that will allow you to download the PMAT suite for your own usage. As a quick reminder for all of the different tutorials we're going to be going through, these start out with the need to load in some of your data files, either through our TDT buttons for the Tucker Davis files, or using the import data menu, in this case for generic formats, using CSV or comma-separated value files. So if you don't know how to do either of those things yet, please refer to our, to our videos on loading data into the PMAT suite before you proceed with this video. Regarding the options module, there are four main components to the module, and we're going to look at these one at a time. The first option here is the file prefix, and what this allows you to do is to set an experimental name or a version number or any other prefix that you would like for a file that you might use for sorting your data. For example, you could include the subject name if you wanted to compile all of your data files later on by subject. This is totally up to you. It's a easy tool for adding something that will be helpful in, again, sorting your data down the road. So in the case here, we can enter hello world. And what you should see happen is that there should be an update in the example text down here to show you that it's been successful. And it'll show you exactly what your file name would look like. In this case, hello world with the underscore and a name of a plot or the name of a, a comma separated value or CSV file containing your data. For the example today, we'll use just one of the buttons in the export data module. There's a separate entire video on this module. So if you don't know how to use that yet, that's fine. You can go watch that video after this. What we're going to click is the button to export the photometry signals. And then we'll click to just save these as a file so that you can see an example of what the output would look like. You should see a pop-up that says the save is successful. And as always, if you don't remember exactly what file you're working with, or if the path to get to the data is too long, you can simply click this copy file path button. And you should then be able to open up your file browsing system, paste that path in, and it'll bring you to the main folder containing your data. In this case, we're going to go one step further down into this data folder where we'll find our hello world file containing our fiber photometry data as an output in, again, one of these comma separated value files. So this just shows you what the file output should look like. The same thing would happen if we added this prefix before any of the output figures. Every file that comes out should have this prefix in front of it. The next button in the options module is the default settings button. The default settings button is meant to allow you to quickly return back to the initial settings that will exist when you when you load the PMAT suite. So if you were to come in and make an entire mess of the data here, if you were to select all kinds of different things, change the timestamps, and you couldn't remember any bit of what you did because you were just playing around, which is something that we encourage you to do. Now you've got one giant mess on your hands. You want to get back to where you started. Click the default settings button, and everything will revert back to the initial settings, which in some cases, but not all, are the settings that we would highly recommend that you use based on our prior testing. Along these same lines, the second button that we can look at here is the save current settings button. This is fairly self-explanatory, as it allows you to save any settings that you have in the current window. So again, if we were to go back and we were to select all kinds of different components in the PMAT suite here, and you wanted to add in 
all kinds of different values. It doesn't matter. Feel free to play around as you do this. And you want to save these, then you can absolutely do that. This will allow you to return to these settings in the future, but the another goal of this is that it would allow you to take these settings and send them off to a collaborating lab, to hand them off to uh, a student or a trainee in your lab, and you can allow them to run using these exact same settings, and it should promote rigor and reproducibility in your experiments. So if you click the Save Current Settings, it'll bring you to your working directory. However, we recommend for all of these that you come in and you save these to the location where you've saved the PMAT uh, file system. In this case, we always save our files as the C drive PMAT Barker lab. And you can see that I have a bunch of my prior settings here uh, that have been used for distributing to others for testing the format. And we start with the name photometry user settings, but you may want to name these something, for example, our hello world experiment, so that you can get back to these in the future. Whatever you do, we recommend saving all of your settings files in the same place so that they're standard across your laboratory. So one thing that might be important in showing these examples is that is to point out some of the things that we've done. We have a lot of different things selected, the export data, the plot data trace. We have our pre-time here is minus 20 seconds. The post time is positive 20 seconds. We've made an incredible number of changes here, and we want to be able to get back to these. One easy way to clear all these changes, of course, is to go back to the default settings. Now we have a window that looks very much like we had before. However, if I want to get back into these, same settings and you had forgotten what your settings would look like, you can go back in, find your settings file. In this case, again, we save them in our lab in the C PMAT Barker lab folder or something equivalent to that on our lab servers. And we should be able to open this and revert back to this pre minus 20 time, post positive 20 time. All of our different values are selected and everything should look exactly like you left it the last time that you were running. Another really nice feature that we've added in, just as we close out our discussion of what you can do with the options module, this doesn't completely belong to the options module, but in some ways that it does, is that if you happen to go in and close the PMAT suite, you should see a pop-up that says, would you like to save your current settings? So this is just a reminder that if you're starting to leave PMAT and you've forgotten to do this, it gives you one last chance to come in and hit, yes, I would like to save my settings. Thank you for reminding me. Hello world experiment version two, just in case something changed, save, and now you're done. I hope that helps and we'll see you next time.